Hello Year 2, how are you? Welcome to today's history lesson. So in the last lesson we looked at what a hero was. Now can you remember what the definition of a hero is? Pause the video now and see if you can remember. Okay let's see if you remember. So a hero is someone who is admired, so people think a lot of them for their courage, so how brave they are. Their outstanding achievements, so what have they done that's important? Have they helped a person? or a group of people? Have they done something for politics or science or medicine? Okay, or they could have just been in one of the jobs, in one of the everyday jobs that we spoke about last week, where people are considered as heroes, like a vet or a firefighter. Okay, now today we're going to start learning about our hero of the term, who is Florence Nightingale. Have any of you ever heard about Florence Nightingale? Well, don't worry if you haven't, because we're going to be learning about her over the next few weeks. So by the end of the lesson, you will be able to um, order some events in Florence Nightingale's life. So you'll be able to put them in chronological order, so the order in which they happened. And you'll be able to tell me a few facts about Florence Nightingale and what made her famous. OK, so to start, we have a picture here of Florence Nightingale and we've got some questions around her. So is this person rich or poor? So is Florence Nightingale rich or poor? Where is she from? How long, did, um, how long ago did she live? And what is her job? OK, so in a minute, what I'd like to do is pause the video and by looking at the picture, can you answer these questions? Either talk to the person you're with or have a think to yourself. OK, so pause the video now and have a think. OK, yeah, too. Well, I'm not going to tell you the answers now because we're going to be learning about Florence Nightingale, but I'm hoping by the end of the lesson you'll be able to answer these questions. So who was Florence Nightingale? Well, Florence. Nightingale was born in 1820 in Florence, which is in Italy. Now, where is Italy? Where is Florence? Can you see on the map? I've circled the United Kingdom. Well, that's where we live, isn't it? You'll know that from our geography lessons. Now, the arrow on the map, the red arrow, that points to Italy, which is where Florence is. It is where Florence Nightingale was born. Now, can you see on the map that Italy is in the shape of a boot? OK, so that is an arrow to Florence and that is how Florence Nightingale got her name. She was born in Florence. Now, it says she was born in the 19th century because she was born in 1820. Do you know what a century is? You do. Great. But pause the video and have a think. What could a century be? OK, yeah, too. Should we see if you were right? So a century is a period of 100 years. So a century is, for example, from 1500. To 1600, that's 100 years. From 1600 to 1700, that's 100 years too. From 1700 to 1800, that's 100 years too. Now, can you see on our timeline that there's a big arrow and it says today? Well, that is because we are in the 21st century because we're in 2021. So if you're in 2021, you're in the 21st century. Can you see how the number goes up? And if you're born in 1972, you were born in the 20th century, 1972, 20th century. If you were born in 1781, you were born in the 18th century. Can you see how I put the number up there to get the century? So Florence Nightingale lived in the Victorian period. She wasn't born in the Victorian period. She was born just before it, but she lived most of her life in the Victorian period. Now, let's have a look at that on the timeline. So the Victorian period, was from 1837 to 1901. So most of the Victorian period was in the 19th century. OK, and can you see that arrow just before the Victorian period? Well, that was where Florence Nightingale was born in 1820, which is still in the 19th century. 1820, put the number up, 19th century. OK, is that what you guessed the century was? Well done if you did. Now let's go back to our original slide. So Florence Nightingale was alive during the Victorian times. So that means she was alive when Queen Victoria was on the throne. Can you see the picture of Queen Victoria there? So Britain was very different during the Victorian period. Now, how was it different? Well, men and women in the Victorian period were not equal, OK? And there was a big divide between the rich and the poor. Now, what do you think I mean by the word divide? Pause your video and have a think. What do you mean? The a divide between the rich and the poor. OK, yeah, too. let's have a look at the word divide. 
So divide is a noun, okay? And it has two syllables. Clap them together, three, two, one, divide, okay? And it means that there's a difference or a separation between a group of people. So in the Victorian times, there was a separation between the rich and the poor. And that was because the rich were very rich and the poor were very poor, okay? So the amount of money they had, there's a big difference, okay? So the rich had a lot of money and the poor hardly had any money. Okay, and that was really notice noticeable in that time. So, some synonyms, so um, words with the same meaning as divide. Difference, so there was a big difference between the amount of money they had, and there was a split in society. There was a split in life, okay, because the rich were very rich and the poor were very poor. So, who were the Nightingale family? Now, did you guess what was... Nice, um, Florence Nightingale, rich or poor? What did you think? Yes, that's right. She was rich, okay? She lived in a rich family and they lived on a large estate. An estate is a place with lots of houses and then she had lots of servants, okay? So people helping her with lots of different things in the house. And their estate, can you see it? It was called Embley Park and that's their house on the picture. It looks very fancy, doesn't it? I'd love to live in that house. So yes, they lived in Embley Park. Now this house today is a school, but back in Florence Nightingale's time, this was her house. Now, she lived with her family, so her mum, her dad, and her sister, who was called Parthenope, okay? And during the Victorian times, daughters were thought of, um, that they had to marry. They couldn't just go out and get a job. They couldn't be a firefighter, they couldn't be a teacher. Very rich families thought their daughters had to get married as soon as they could and to run a household. So as I said, they didn't go out to their job. They stayed in the house and looked after the house and any children that they had. OK, so that's what they thought. Now, we've got the word wealthy here. I said rich family. So what do you think wealthy means? Should we have a look? So wealthy is an adjective. It has two syllables again, clap along with me, wealthy, okay? And it means to have quite a lot of money. So daughters, like in the sentence I just said, daughters from wealthy families are expected to marry and run a household. So a synonym, as I said, is rich, okay? If you're wealthy, you're rich, you have quite a lot of money. And an antonym, so the opposite of that, is poor, okay? So their family were very wealthy and they thought that their daughters had to get married and then look after the household, look after the house, look after their children in the house, okay, and not go to work. Now, do you think Florence Nightingale thought that was a good idea, staying in the house with no job? Let's find out. No, Florence Nightingale, she was interested in nursing, so she wanted to be a nurse. Did you guess from that picture that her job was a nurse? Well done if you did. So, from a young age, she was very interested in nursing and she liked to take care of people. So she didn't like the idea of being in the house and getting married, okay? Now, nurses were normally poorer people in this time, okay? So their parents thought that being a nurse was very a very unsuitable job for Florence. And her family, her dad at the house, used to educate her, so she was, you know, she was quite knowledgeable, she was quite smart, so she didn't want to just stay in the house, she wanted to become a nurse, but her family said no, because they were a rich family, and they thought that their daughters shouldn't have a job and should stay at home. But no, Florence wanted to be a nurse. So in 1851, so do you remember what year she was born? She was born in 1820, so in 1851 she was 31 years old, okay? She went to train as a nurse in Germany. Now, where's Germany? Let's look on our map again. Can you see the arrow to Germany? Yes, can you see the United Kingdom and Italy and Germany? Yes, so that's where Florence Nightingale went to train as a nurse. She learned lots of different important skills about how to care for people. And she also learned about how important it was for hospitals to be very clean, okay, to help people get better. Now, after she'd been to Germany for just over two years, she returned to England and became a nurse at a hospital for rich women in London. 
London. Okay, so she completely went against her family and she went and trained as a nurse in Germany in 1851 and then she worked as a nurse in London when she returned in 1853. So this is your task, okay? You need to create a timeline. Now, can you remember our timeline from when we looked at centuries? So things need to be in chronological order, the order that they happened. So the first thing that happened will go first and the second thing that happened will go next and then the last thing that happened will go at the very end, okay? So we have got Florence decided she wanted to become a nurse. Florence was born in Italy. Florence went to Germany to train as a nurse. Florence returned from Germany. Florence's family returned to England. Florence became a nurse at a hospital in London and Florence was born in Italy. Oh, we've got that one twice, so ignore it the second time. So we need to put these in chronological order on our timeline. So I'd like you to pause the video and have a think. Some of them have the years on them, but have a think. Which was the first thing that happened? The thing that will go first on our timeline. OK, pause the video and have a think. OK, yeah, two. Let's see if you were right. So, yes. 1820. Florence was born in Italy. So that is the first thing that happened in her life. She was born. So now I'm going to leave you to have a go at creating your own timeline. So using the different thing, the different events that I've given you and putting them on your timeline in the correct order, in chronological order. Now, when you finish that, I'd like you to come back to the video. OK, so pause the video now and have a go at your timeline. OK, yeah, too. So just the last little part of the lesson. So, you know, at the beginning, I said by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to tell me some facts about Florence Nightingale. Well, here are some questions that I would like you to also answer so you can write them down um, about Florence Nightingale. So who was the queen when Florence Nightingale was alive? When and where was Florence Nightingale born? Why did Florence's family not want her to become a nurse? And where did she train as a nurse in 1851? So hopefully, by what I've said in this lesson, you will be able to tell me some facts about Florence Nightingale by answering these questions. OK, now, when you've finished your timeline and these questions, can you please send them to the office? Because I love seeing all the work that you're doing at home. OK, have a lovely rest of your day, Yeti. Bye.